What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up for me, and let's get into it. All right, so this video is uh, in response to a comment I got from uh, a gentleman by the name of Mike Jenkins, uh, who is a longtime supporter of this channel. Uh, going back, what, four or five years, he's been here and he's been watching my content. So, uh, Mike. Uh, had posted a comment and asked if I was going to speak about the allegations that have come out uh, against Neil Gaiman. Now, the reason Mike asked if I was going to comment on on the allegations is because from watching my live streams and and different interviews I've done about why I enjoy writing and what influenced me to be a writer Neil Gaiman was always a name that came up uh, as far as, you know, being an influence, you know, uh, always loved like Chris Claremont, Neil Gaiman, Alan Moore, uh, you know, uh, uh, Christopher Priest, you know, the, you know, John Byrne. These are, you know, men that I really, really enjoyed, obviously, uh, and the Senti. Uh, who I had the privilege of interviewing a few years ago. Those, because uh, I, I interviewed uh, Jeff Smith and Ann Nacenti. Those interviews, I've got a, a creator's playlist. You can go uh, on my playlist and check out some of the interviews I've done with people in the comic book industry. Uh, I always wanted, I tried to get an interview with Neil Gaiman uh, and someone from his team, I, I remember I wrote and they, they wrote me back, you know, his schedule was just too big. He couldn't commit to it at that time. So it was unfortunate. I did send, I did try to get him, but this was years ago anyway. But uh, there's a podcast called The Tortoise Podcast. Um, and apparently two women, uh, they were interviewed by this podcast and they made some uh, they made some really shocking allegations about uh, their uh, interactions with Neil Gaiman. Uh, like I said, I have to be careful with my words because we are on YouTube, but uh, they basically accused Neil of ASA. You can see the words on the screen to know what SA means. And they uh, apparently this happened in New Zealand. I understand the police are looking in. These, these happened a few years ago, but the police are apparently investigating these uh, these allegations. Neil Gaiman obviously has come out and said, hey, this isn't true. Um, some more context. Um, Neil Gaiman tends to lean a little bit more liberal. But, you know, he he does all the, hey, let's include everybody. Let's bring strong women into positions of this. You know, he presents himself to be more of an ally. And I can't help but notice I've, I've talked with a few of my other friends behind the scenes on this. And it always seems like people that present themselves like, hey, we want to. We want to befriend women. We want to make sure women are included. They have a voice, a, a seat at the table. You know, why is it that the people that put themselves in that position, they always are the ones that get accused of this stuff? Um, and I'm saying this because, like I said, Neil seems to be a little bit more liberal. Um, he he's definitely uh, was definitely liberal in his relationships. His uh, his now ex wife, a man, I think they got divorced in 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I remember when he was dating her, there was some backlash at that time because she's like 15 years younger than him. So everybody was like, whoa, why is he dating this young girl? You know, she's like in her 20s and he's a man. It's like at that time, I think he was like pushing 50. And this girl was like, she was like 26, 27 or what? She was like 15 years younger than Neil. And I, I know she's like 48 now. So, but they, they were together for like 11 or 12 years and they have, uh, Neil's youngest son. I think his name is Michael, but, uh, Neil's youngest son is with his now ex-wife, but the whole time they were together, they were in an open relationship and they both said this where they had other partners that, you know, they were legally married, 
but they had other partners and he was very open about this. And I, he would do panels like he would do what's, what's the one book he has Anansi boys. And uh, he would go around the country and I know his wife's a musician. And sometimes they would do like these, like these co tours together where they would go to like book clubs and stuff. And she would play songs and he would talk about his books and they would do things together. And people would ask them about their relationship. They were very open about the fact that they had a, they had an open uh, relationship and uh, you know, it wasn't a traditional one one man one woman relationship they had multiple partners and these two women apparently were one of the women was apparently hired to be the nanny of uh neil and amanda's child and you know it only lasted a few weeks and and in her initial statements She said that it was consensual, but then some stuff happened. It wasn't consensual. So it got, it it gets kind of weird. And like I said, I'm a huge fan of Neil, Neil Gaiman in my comic book series brand. uh, David Craven, one of the main characters, he has a master, a mentor by the name of Gaiman that I actually named after Neil. And Neil Gaiman was such uh, an important writer for me that I, I gave one of the characters in brand the name Gaiman just to honor him because I just I remember as a young person going to the comic book shop and reading his work and uh, they had Sandman in the Vertigo section. And so you had to be 18. Uh, The the Vertigo books were uh, they wouldn't sell them to you unless you were 18. And so uh, I had to find some. uh, interesting ways to get my hand because I was only like 13, 14 years old and I'd see those books. And uh, but I did read what was it? I think it was Spawn number nine where Neil Gaiman was the guest writer on Spawn. And that was the first appearance of Angela. It might be issue eight. It was one of those because it was like it went like Neil Gaiman and Dave Sim. Todd was letting other people write Spawn. He had Alan Moore write an issue. And, you know, it was that kind of deal. So it's like, again, so like I said, just that he had Neil and Alan Moore both write issues of Spawn. I was reading Spawn heavy then. So Neil doing that and then he, you know, he had done some stuff at Marvel. And and so I've just kind of kept track of his career. And then he, you know, he kind of got out of the comic book graphic novel thing and started writing novels and and uh you know, he wrote American Gods, which was a huge, but, you know, they turned it into a, a television series on stars, which I wish they would go back and maybe another network would pick up American Gods and they they just start all over again and just do the show again. But I, I thought the stars uh, first first season was really good of American Gods. And then it kind of seemed like people were leaving the show and they had to recast, and, you know, it was that kind of deal. So I was just like, ah, OK. Uh, cause they had Jillian Anderson on there and I was, I was really excited. But I love Jillian Anderson. So it, it was that kind of deal. So again, obviously these are serious allegations. Neil is saying that he is innocent of the allegations, but like I said, I, I always find it interesting that people that present themselves to be allies always seem to be the ones that end up getting accused of this stuff. Does anybody else not find that weird? But again, I'm just like I said, he, until a charge is filed, I'm going to uh, just take Mr. Gaiman at his word. Uh, But like I said, they are investigating. And if they decide that uh, something needs to be done, I guess they will take care of that. But uh, again, Uh, Mike, I that's like I said, that's some of my thoughts on this situation. I hope that uh, satisfies your uh, your uh, post and uh, how I kind of feel on that. And again, appreciate you all the years you've been here and and supporting the channel. And you would always pop up in in the, the the chats and super chat and stuff like that. So I definitely appreciate you. And so that's why I wanted to make this and, and actually respond to you. Uh, but for everybody else, uh, you know, we're on the road to 3000. We want you. We need you. Give me a follow. Uh, give me a, a I'm on Facebook. I'm on X. I'm on Instagram. 
I'm on Threads, all at Akari Press. Type in AkariPress.com. It'll take you to my comic book brand, Way of the Gun. Uh, I also got the link to that and my Gumroad in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.